In this tutorial I will explain the adjustment of JetTech Pro for diaphragm carbs. First select the diaphragm carb screen and then select either a 3-jet diaphragm carburetor or a 2-jet diaphragm carburetor by clicking this button. For the purposes of this tutorial I will use the 2-jet carburetor type which of course can be any make of 2-jet carburetor as this setup process is designed to match the air and fuel flow characteristics of your unique carburetor and engine combination. Now let's quickly navigate to the Tillotson Racing website and in particular the technical information provided for the HW11A carburetor. This carburetor has been introduced this year specifically homologated for the KF2 engine series. Now as you can see detailed at the bottom of the page here are the carburetor adjustment settings. The low speed adjustment of 40 minutes, a high speed jet adjustment of 40 minutes, an opening pressure of 0 0.65 bar and a closing pressure of 0 0.55 bar. Now let's close the web browser and go back to JetTech Pro. Now having established the manufacturer's recommended settings first enter the pop-off pressures here. Select bar and enter the opening pressure of 0 0.65 bar and the closing pressure of 0 0.55 bar. Now unlock the system and enter the recommended high and low jet settings of 40 minutes. For those of you of the old school, 1 16th is equal to 3.75 minutes. Now having adjusted both the pop-off pressures and the high and low main jet settings at an international standard atmosphere which of course is the manufacturer's recommended settings next having earlier correctly placed your temperature and humidity sensor for JetTech Weather Pro you will now be able to enter the weather information at your location. Now as you can see the both the high jet and low jet settings have changed in line with the corresponding change in air density calculated by the software. Adjust your carburetor to match opening and closing pressures detailed here and the low and high jet settings detailed here. Go out and complete a test session on your local track at racing speed of approximately 5 to 10 laps. On returning to the pit examine both the piston crown, exhaust header and spark plug for colour and determine if the settings are rich or weak. You can also, whilst conducting the track test session, make small adjustments to both the high and low jet to gain the maximum performance. The setting at which the maximum performance and greatest reliability will be returned is just below the point at which your engine will four stroke. For those of you who are not familiar with this condition, the sound of the engine appears spluttering and 
may be an irregular firing sound. This sound is called four-stroking and it occurs both at low and high speed when the adjustment is too rich. You need to be just below this setting to return maximum performance and reliability from your engine and carburetor combination. Having completed a number of track sessions where each time you examine the piston crown, spark plug and exhaust header and adjust your carburetor settings you will eventually arrive by this methodical approach at the ideal settings for those weather conditions. Now when you arrive at this position simply adjust the weather information displayed on your weather station unlock the system and adjust these two jet settings to reflect both your high and low jet settings at maximum performance then lock the system and next time you return to the track you simply dial in the appropriate weather conditions and the optimum jetting will be displayed by the software. It is also worthy of note that as the air density changes both the recommended opening and closing pressures will also change and the software will display the correct opening and closing pressures for the current conditions and you need to adjust your carburetor to reflect these settings to maintain optimum jetting. In this way you will gain the maximum performance and reliability from your carburetor and engine combination. Now in extreme circumstances you may find that the software prediction of say the low jet is not weak enough or too rich. This is corrected by the use of JetTech Flowbench. Let's imagine that the rate of change of the low jet is believed to be not quick enough. You simply adjust JetTech Flowbench to a positive value. Each step will make the low jet change more quickly with a change in air density and therefore the optimum setting for your carburetor will be locked into the software. You can test using Flowbench if you select the higher air density cycle you will see the jetting change and then reset and select the lower jetting cycle and again you will see the jetting come down to match the lower air density and again reset. By conducting in this way a number of track test session you will perfectly match the fuel and airflow characteristics of your carburetta with the software and once this has been completed then you simply need to maintain your carburetta using the indicated opening and closing pressures enter the weather conditions and the required jetting will be displayed by the software Using this methodology you will find the optimum jetting is always returned and you will gain a considerable racing advantage over your rivals who tend to think that twiddling the jets somehow with divine inspiration provides reliable performance which of course it does not. Jetting and matching the air and fuel flow characteristics of your carburetor is a science and it should be approached using a scientific methodology. In the past too many races and championships have been lost using the divine inspiration method 